us. What's up? It's Hope, and I'm here to bring you my 58-week post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. Um, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery on July 1st, 2013 in Beaumont, Texas with Dr. Jerome Schraps as my surgeon, and it has been 58 weeks, which is, I know I say this every week, but it really is so crazy how, like, time just really flies by. Um... Uh, I'm just going to start off with my numbers like I always do. Um, nothing really too exciting to report. I mean, it's kind of exciting, but anyway. Okay, so my highest weight ever recorded was 330 pounds. On the day of surgery, July 1st, 2013, I was 306. Last week, I came to you weighing in at 190. Um, but over the last couple months, I've bounced back like between 190, 189, 188, you know, so it's been between 188 and 190. Um, for like, like four weeks, four or five weeks straight, I was 189. Last week I was 190. This week I'm 188, which is like, it's like three pounds, two pounds. But like I said, I've just been kind of bouncing back and forth. Um, I did see the lowest weight I've seen yet on the scale, but I weigh in every Monday. So I don't count anything that I weigh, any any weight that I have during the week. And so um, I weighed 186 on Saturday night. So, uh, no, it was on Sunday morning. I was 186. And so that's the lowest I've seen. Um, but it went back up to 188 on Monday morning. Not really sure what that's about, but whatever. Um... What else? So, 188, um, 142 pounds total, 118 pounds since surgery, I think. I think that's right. Um, crazy. Crazy, y'all. It's just so crazy. Um, life is amazing. Life is so great. Um, just, I never realized... I know I talked about this in my video that I posted on Saturday when I was headed to that wedding. Um, I just never realized the life I was missing out on. And it's just so awesome now. I just, I'm just so grateful, I guess. Um, so, what did I want to talk about? Um, not really nothing too exciting to report. Um, we are getting ready to start our first round of Clomid. Um, we're... If you haven't watched any of my other videos, I'm sure all of you know this by now, but um, we are getting ready to start trying for a baby. Um, that's the only, I mean, the most important reason I had weight loss surgery is to hopefully get rid of PCOS and help with the infertility struggles that we were having prior to surgery. Unfortunately, my PCOS did not go away after surgery, so I'm still struggling with that, uh, but we are getting ready to start our first round of Clomid this week, which I'm so excited about. Um, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping and praying that it happens this first time around, but that's really just me being really optimistic because I know not everyone, not everyone gets that amazing chance or blessing to have it happen the first time around. So I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping and praying that, you know, this is our time. Um, really just kind of focusing on, um, just being healthy and staying active and, and hoping and praying that this is it for us. So I'm excited. Um, I'm, I'm not so excited about the side effects that I've heard about Clomid, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad. Um, my hormones are all out of whack anyway with PCOS and being on Provera. And so, I mean, it's, it's probably just not gonna be any different than what I'm used to, but um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I did wanna talk about the wedding on Saturday. Um, I got all gussied up as you've seen in my video and we were um, headed to our wedding, heading to a wedding in um, in a nearby town. It's about an hour away. It was actually at the beach. So um, we were super excited about being at the beach. Um, had an incredibly amazing time. We had so, 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 so much fun. Like it was with like some of our best friends in the whole wide world and um, we had an incredible time. Now I need to... <laughs> I need to kind of come clean here. Um, I'm not much of a drinker. My husband and I only drink really socially. I haven't really drank at all since surgery. Um, I think I've had like half of a drink of something, not really like my own drink or anything. And like I said, we don't really drink a whole lot. I mean, if we do, it's really just for like special occasions or like someone's having a get together, but I don't really drink hardly at all. Um, but at the wedding on Saturday, and I, I know that they say, like, after your surgery, you really have to be careful because, you know, how you used to handle alcohol prior to surgery 
is a lot different, you know, post-op. Well, before the wedding, all the bridesmaids decided we were going to all have a shot of Fireball before it started. And, um, yeah, one shot of Fireball and this girl was feeling it hardcore. And I was like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> like, it was only one shot of Fireball. Why am I drunk? And, uh, yeah, so that's just a warning to all of you out there. If you have not, if you've been cleared to drink and you haven't drank yet, be very cautious because... Man, I was like extremely giddy the whole time. And I was like, what's wrong with me? Why am I like this? And yeah, one shot of fireball. I ended up having another shot like a couple hours later. And I was just completely, I wasn't like nasty hammered drunk, but I mean, definitely tipsy. And it, was only, it wasn't even a very big shot. And so that was crazy to me how like it was only like two shots of fireball and... I was done so I kind of wanted to document that um, not only am I not much of a drinker but you know drinking after surgery uh, is definitely a lot different than what it used to be prior to surgery um, but we had such a good time I mean we danced and we laughed and we sang and we just the wedding was so 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 much fun and it was so laid back and um, you know everything went off without a hitch and um, I just have to say, like, I, I, I don't know. Let me just, I could not be more in love with my husband than I am right now. And I know that people worry about, you know, how you change after weight loss surgery. And there's just like, you hear all the statistics. Like we even have a really close friend of ours who, and it was weight loss surgery that separated them. Like once she realized she lost all this weight and she realized she just didn't love him anymore and she'd been unhappy for a long time. And I think weight loss surgery was just the catalyst that separated them. And um, she just didn't realize who she was anymore, I guess, or who, who she had been being wasn't really herself, I guess. Anyway, um, but I could not be more in love with my husband than I am right now. I'm just so in love with him. It's ridiculous. Like, I cannot sit in the same room with him without wanting to be in his lap, hold it, like him holding me. Like, I want to always be holding his hand. I want to always have, like, his hand on my back. Like, I just, I'm so in love with him. When I am not with him, I miss him so, so, so much. And I'm trying not to get emotional, but... And I don't know if it's hormones or if it's just how grateful I am. Y'all know my story about how I was married once before and my husband passed away. And I'm always so grateful for my husband. I'm always so grateful for Andy. He is so amazing. And he is my best friend in this whole wide world. And I feel like if anything, we've just gotten closer through this process. And I just, I don't think I could love him any more than I do right now. I just... I'm just obsessed with him and I think that's crazy but it's true and I just miss him so much when I'm not with him and I don't know if that's I don't know I'm just documenting the fact that I really love him a whole lot um I know that like he's mentioned a couple of times where people have said you know oh my gosh you're way out of your league or oh my gosh your wife is so beautiful what happened like what happened with you how she how come she chose you and that just breaks my heart because he is like my whole world. He's my everything. And I just love him so much. And I'm, I'm doing life with him. He is, you know, my husband. He's my everything. And um, it makes me sad when people make comments like that because he, I think it makes him feel bad. And, or I think, I don't know, he was honest in our, our couple video where he talked about, you know, how he, a little part of him inside does you know, hope and pray that, you know, I don't leave him because, you know, I've had weight loss surgery and I'm a different person. And I realized, you know, that, you know, I don't want it, this life I have with him, which is so ridiculous right now. I cannot even, it's ridiculous, but I don't know. Like, I think, I think it's just the reality. And a lot of people do face a lot of, I don't know, anxiety when it comes to relationships post weight loss surgery. And I think it helps that we've both had weight loss surgery and, you know, we've kind of traveled both of our journeys together and separately too. Um, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to document that. I don't really know why. It's not really weight loss surgery related, but um, I don't know. I'm just really happy right now. And I, you know, I remember being at a point in my life where 
I was just so heartbroken and so devastated and literally thought my life was over. And, you know, he, he breathed new life into me and this surgery has given me my life back. And I'm just so grateful to be where I am right now. Um, hoping and praying that the next few months gives us lots of new amazing chapters and blessings and we just continue to grow closer and closer together. Um, that's my hope anyway. Um, but I don't know. I'm doing great. Um, and I wanted to thank all of you so much for all of your amazingly sweet comments on my video from Saturday. I just wanted to give some encouragement, some hope, because I remember being there in the very beginning and just struggling and, you know, it's, it's worth it. I promise you it is so incredibly worth it. So don't give up. Just keep pushing on. Um, I promise you, you will not regret it. Um, I'm so grateful for everything that's happened. I'm just a better person for it. That's for sure. So anyway, I guess I will see you guys later. Um, I know I've been promising a food haul video. I'm going to try and get that to y'all. just haven't been to the grocery store, honestly. Um, but I will see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your amazing support. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.